So, hey, I've been thinking, maybe you want to take this shock collar off? You know, as a sign of thanks for my hard work on Korriban. Not that I don't enjoy the perpetual fear of electrocution. You will do as I say, and not ask for favors. Yeah, that's a real keen idea and all, but what do I get out of it? Each day is a present from me to you. Be grateful. Gee, thanks. Okay, hey, Sith Master person of questionable temper and such. I've been extra good with the behaving. Did you notice? So, how about taking the shock collar off me? Give me your word that you'll still obey. How about some non-obedient sort of following directions? Like a person, instead of a pet? You really can't be broken, can you? Ugh. That is such a relief. So, uh, what now? I mean, we're like a million miles from nowhere, and you've got the only ship. Never forget that you're my property. To be otherwise in the Empire would leave you in a... a troubled position. You've got a really twisted view of the galaxy, you know that? <sighs> Let's just keep going. You know, I was a slave when I was a little girl, before I got free. Sort of full circle, I guess. I have little to no interest in your life history. Right. Sorry. Only shuttle port in a storm, you know. Next time, I'll just bond with the nav computer. Have you ever heard of Noc Drayen? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. He destroyed the Wrath Cartel and the Vandalhelm Combine in some giant power grab. Same guy. Yeah, same guy. Weird to think of him that way. Nocturne was the most famous killer in the galaxy. But he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Nock. Or maybe he just had something Nock wanted. I never did ask. So, at one point, you did know how to keep your mouth shut. Yeah. I was an abused, well-behaved little ball of nightmares. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves, and told them they could join up, or go their own way. I assume you saw the opportunity for plunder, and seized it. Well, I wasn't gonna go wander off on whatever waste of a planet we were on. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining had taught me to fit in tight spaces. Nock's crew showed me how to steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. Even the small action of taking gave you control of your life. That is everything. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? What does family mean to you? I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? Are you looking for a specific answer, or just getting philosophical? Nostalgic, maybe. When I was working for Noctrayan, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age, Risha. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But he'd call her princess, and I wished I was her. Having someone your own age could be great or terrible, depending. It was great. Always great. Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister again. 
For years, it was Rishan Mi against the galaxy and anyone who gave us grief. I assume you failed to follow her father's orders and destroyed your relationship. No. I... Just forget it. You wouldn't understand. You know, I never thought much about being a Twi'lek when I was younger. Even on Ryloth, there were lots of other types of people. As far as I could tell, people like me were just the ones who made the best slaves. Wasn't much to be proud of, you know? Your perspective changed as you got older. It wasn't getting older. It was meeting Twi'leks that weren't helpless. When I left Nocturne's gang, I joined up with a group of Twi'lek artifact hunters. They were all young too, full of fire and Twi'lek pride, out trying to recover our heritage. So it wasn't just about stealing anything they could get their hands on. They wanted Twi'lek historical pieces. Well, sometimes they took other jobs to pay the bills. But it really was about returning Twi'lek artifacts to Twi'lek owners. I made friends in the new gang, but it wasn't until we did our first job together that we were family. There was this rich Dura scumball, Kata Bliss, obsessed with Twi'lek women, artifacts, clothes, anything. We took him for everything he was worth. This Kata Bliss sounds like a moron. He let a group of angry kids rob him. He was a lot of things, most of them terrible. Anyway, we were flying high. Did a couple more jobs together, then came Korriban, and I guess you know how that ended up. You're never gonna guess what I've been doing. No, no, don't try. I'll tell you. In between jumps, I've been checking hollow frequencies, and I found the old gang. They're on Nar Shada. They weren't leaving messages for me in the old spots. I thought they got themselves caught, or dead, or something. Did it ever occur to you that they didn't want to hear from you again? No. It didn't occur to me. Old gang's been on the run since I've been gone. Apparently our mysterious informant for the Korriban job was that scum-sucker Kata Bliss. Bliss sure got revenge for the job we pulled on him. Fake mission, fake cover story. I'm thrown in the slave pens. And he hits the gang hard. You're still alive. So the cycle of revenge can still complete. For once, I have to agree with your angry Sith thing. Once they escaped the mercenaries, Taunt and what's left of the old gang spent their last credits tracking Kata Bliss's movements. That Duro snake has managed to get his hands on the Star of Kalu'un. It's a priceless piece of Twi'lek history. I want to get it back. We'll find this Duros and make him pay for every slight against you and yours. You're fantastic! Kata Bliss is at the spaceport on Nar Shada, trying to line up a buyer. I'll send a message that we're coming. Make us out to be interested buyers. Oh, and I'll tell the gang to get ready to receive the artifact. Bliss has some famous Kalish bodyguard they call the Virus working for him these days. But that's not gonna worry you, is it? What did you call me? No, not possible. Perhaps you mistake me for someone else. I am a master of the Force. I hear. Come on, show me how you kill Sith. Gladly. Ya 
Rokom Nela, Mem Kiri Kam Komi Manak, Mem Yuka Hal Hal Krama, Nik Loka Nela Lu Mem Yulak. Kata Bliss, you have exploited my people, stolen our artifacts, and committed numerous crimes against Twi'lax the galaxy over. Return the star of Kala An. Promise to reform, and we may show mercy. Nik Maraka, Naya Nara. I'll grab the star of Kala Un. We can meet the old gang here on Nashida. They'll make sure the star ends up in the museum. In Twi'lek hands. Well, look who the act dog dragged in. Taunt! Guys! And this must be the handsome Sith you've been seeing the galaxy with. Impressive. Had I known how beautiful you were, I would have brought Vet for a reunion sooner. Oh, he's a smooth one. First things first, though, yes? The star of Kala Un is in the case. Authentic and undamaged. Chiktahopa! Got that right. Most important single blow for Twi'lek pride. All you, Vet. We've got other places to be. Nothing left but your finder's fee, then. Here. It's every credit we could scrape together. And don't worry, we should be able to sweet-talk the museum into getting us some of that back. Oh no, I know you guys. You won't even be eating. You have to buy equipment, bribe fees. We don't need your credits, do we? You are doing good work here. Reinvest your credits in your struggle. Really not what I pictured from a Sith. It must be Vet's influence. Kuntokoroja. I... No. I found a place. I'm gonna stay put for a while. But I'll keep in touch. You don't have to leave right away, do you? Mm, what do you say we let Vet and the boys catch up for a while? Of course. Maybe we should give them some time alone. Oh my. Sith really can read minds. Be good, kids. We'll be back. Have fun. Stukasun kanji tabutaya. I missed you guys. I'll say hello whenever I can. Be well, love. I'll miss you. Watch your back out there, kid. Nothing crazy. Just thinking about what happened back on Nar Shaddaa with the old gang. When you went off with Taunt, I... I don't know. I learned something, I guess. I didn't like it. You need to lighten up, Vet. Nothing wrong with two adults having fun? Yeah, maybe. Taunt always flirted with our guy friends. Never bothered me before. Keep your weird feelings to yourself. Your babble is starting to annoy me. Clearly. It won't come up again. I promise. You know, stand-in family is all well and good, but seeing the old gang again, it just made me miss my mom and sister. Which is sort of weird. My memories are so old. I remember having the memories more than I remember the actual events. Does that make any sense? I'm too busy to play memory lane. Why don't you bug Jason about it? Maybe I will. What do you think of that? What's on your mind? Nothing. Why, you expect me to be all mopey? It's too nice outside. Let's play two truths and a lie. I tell you three things about me, and you tell me which isn't true. 
I'll play along. Go ahead. Okay, here goes. I've been in jail 16 times. I've got three sisters. I've worked as a hired assassin. Which one is a lie? There is no way you would take money to kill someone. Turns out, it depends on how much money and how much the person needs to die. Okay, enough games. I wouldn't want someone to start thinking the Sith were getting fun. Sometimes I think it's just better to be born male. At least if you're a slave. I keep thinking of Tiva, my sister. She wasn't strong enough to work in the mines, but she got more beautiful every year. Her mother tried to hide it with mud and filthy clothes. There's only so much you can do to disguise a young beauty. Yeah, Mother was dedicated, though. Broke Tiva's nose once when a buyer was coming. Anyway, I've got some credits put aside, and I want to hire a tracker to find Tiva and Mother. I just need to use the Imperial data files on board, and get some leads for the tracker to start with. That okay? I really couldn't care either way. That's a yes. Okay, next free moment I have, I'll start running some searches. You wanted to talk. I did it! Maybe you didn't think I could, but I did. A Kubas tracker named Krata found my sister Tiva. Found where she worked, even the name of her boss. She's on Nar Shada. Can you believe that? Krata wouldn't tell me any more until I paid him, but he found her. This means nothing to me. Don't be a pain all the time, huh? You care because we're going to find her. We need to meet Krata the Kubas in a cantina on Nar Shada. I'll settle the bill with them, get the specifics, and then see my sister. All better. Theotasic la plasma era. Andra vimos bandimas protis cada vidra died. I've got your credits. You said you had more information about Tiva? Grata apatiki irprit veritini sabasia zavebe casis. This doesn't need to be a big deal. Give us our information and we'll be on our way. A todo no mala somogo, todo gisbavo apia tai. Here are your credits. Now will you please tell me where my sister is? Patarana Ango, Miss Aka Nanom, Alas Protas Era, Smarcio Pobudas, Mana Ir Padre Mana Narcali. Fantastic. Thanks. Let's go find this crystal woman. Apogia Palak Halatima Dimas. Crystal? Yeah, cute thing. You looking for work? I would look fantastic in your outfit. Am I hired? We're not really that kind of place. Tried it. Didn't work out. We're not here for a job. We're looking for my sister, Tiva. Ah, of course. I guess everyone has somebody that loves them. Tiva! No women, no couples, and no, I don't want to hear any argument. Tiva? Maybe we got the wrong Tiva. Is it a common name? Not that I know of. Never heard anyone else get called Tiva, Tiva, gonna squeeze ya. Say no? What the? You're alive? Despite my best efforts. This is my friend. He's, um... A Sith Lord. Is Sina a Twi'lek word for sister or something? It's my name. Sina. You don't think anyone names their kid that, do you? So I'm guessing this wasn't a voluntary... uh... career move. I've been working here two years and it's killing me. I kept thinking I'd get sold again, but I'm too old. 
Sena, you have to get me out of here. Wow. Okay. Big favor. Can you buy my sister's freedom? Let me sample the wares. Make sure she's worth the asking price. I guess that's fair. Tiva? Don't sweat it, little sister. I've seen worse. We'll be back. Okay, done. Now about those credits? This should cover it. Go pay your master. You're a free woman. You see why I hang out with the Sith Lord? I see. I see. I I'll be right back. It's done. I need to get my stuff. I, I can never thank you enough. Sena, I'll be in touch soon, okay? Make it soon. Well, that was amazing. Shall we go? What's on your mind, Vet? I've been talking to Tiva. First thing she did after you freed her was start trying to find Mother. I'm helping where I can. It seems like everyone else from your past is on the same moon. Yeah, Narshada's where we started. Nothing. Mother wasn't that old when she had us. She has to be alive, somewhere. Anyway, mainly wanted to thank you for Tiva. It's sad that nobody else sees what a good person you are inside. You know, I think I'm getting better at this whole fighting thing. Watching you pick targets for all those hours must have been useful after all. You can learn many things from watching my example. I'll work on my glaring and tromping around next. So Tiva landed on her feet. She started seeing a moth stationed in the outer rim. It was apparently like 60 years old though. I don't know what to think. Time served in the galaxy means little compared to who a person is. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, Moth Old Guy apparently has all sorts of contacts in Imperial Intelligence. And I guess he's helping her find Mother. I have dreams about the night they took me from her. Came in the night, pulled me off my sleeping mat, just screamed and screamed. When someone wants to sell their livestock, they don't ask the livestock's permission. Sometimes I think you get it, and sometimes... All right. Let's not go there right now. She found her! She found her! Mother was sold to a hut on Tatooine years ago. She works in a small shop there. Tiva found her, and she's headed to Tatooine already. We need to go meet her as soon as we can. If we go, we will go at the time of my choosing. Yes, yes, you're the boss. I get it. But this is important. Oh, and Tiva sent back some of the credits you spent getting her free. What she could scrape up. Okay, as soon as we can. Tatooine. I wonder what Mother will think of me now. You're good to go. Mistuka Moguto Parchi Chisadomba. After all this time, to miss her by days. Who is responsible for this woman's death? Mr. Topa, Gomakase. Kabanotase Makipuna, Malituta Udmishka. If you are responsible for this, I will choke the life out of your slave body. Joto Gekwanga Chuska, Nucha Kichawa. Moja Jochaluka, 
Kunachi do Nikti Toki, Saya Tupi nu Aviti. They still work, believe me. Umpa Hupa, Chikilia Umpasa do Biska. Patoga Wata Kiko Uba Kiriwata Buki Donko. Waddle is within his rights to do with his slaves as he will. Stukasun Kanji Tabutaya. This is my mother we're talking about. She deserves some respect. Chobut i kafstuan dile jihulo kuta. No. Here are some credits. Tell Waddle's man I've paid for your time. Go to town and arrange the funeral. What are you waiting for? Get going, slave. Che Womaktoma. Ya power kolka torundi. Kuna wabanda dunko. That was a lovely service. Still, I can't come to terms with it. What? The fact that our mother was worked to death by a fat hut who's somewhere laughing about it right now? You'll feel better once the hut lies dead at your feet. Chobut i kafstuan dile jihulo kuta. Stuka sun kanji tabuta ya. I don't know, Tiva. You wanna go just shoot this hut in the face? Sometimes the only way to erase an injustice is to erase the person who committed it. If you think it's the right thing to do... Of course it's the right thing to do. Come on. Don't worry. We won't be long. My moth is going to be worried. I'll see you two later. Better times. Let's just go. Please. No talking. Keep seeing that hut's face, and the blood, and the bodies on the floor, and Tiva's eyes. I thought I could just let it go, and I can't help blaming you. I know it was hard, but some things need to be done. Bloody things. I really hope I never understand the way you see the galaxy. Anyway, whatever. Let's just keep some space between us for a while, okay? Just so you know, I'm here for the long term. Through apprentices trying to kill you and all the rest of the crazy. I'll be here. Your deference is good and proper, Ved. Okay then. Glad we're clear on that. My lord, I have settled into my quarters and fully acquainted myself with the ship. I am at your disposal. I want you on a persistent state of alert, Captain. I won't disappoint, my lord. I am fully trained in all aspects of operating this vessel. I can navigate and pilot it to perfection. Get to your station, then. Right away, my lord. You wish to speak? Yes, my lord. I wanted to update you on the condition of your ship. It has responded extremely well to my optimizations. I'm pleased to report that we are operating at peak efficiency. I will accept no less, Captain. Of course, my lord. There will be no slippage. Let's not waste any more time. As you decree. Permission to speak freely, my lord. Go ahead, Captain. 
There's a reason I was languishing on Balmora before you arrived. A decade ago, I served under Moff Broisk at the Battle of Druckenwell. Moff Broisk made a critical oversight that brought the fleet to the brink of complete defeat. I ignored his order and turned the tide to victory. Then you are to be commended. That's not how the Moth saw it. Broisk took credit for the reversal, which is fine. But then he court-martialed me. Darth Barris assigned me to Balmora or my career would have been over. Moff Broisk has blocked every transfer and promotion I've been up for since. I have no tolerance for fools like this Moff. I could say more about him, my lord, but my point is made. I serve you now, I have no regrets. I'll return to my duties. My lord, I have been working on something in my spare time. You may be interested. Let me be the judge of that. Right away. Years ago, I was zeroing in on a notorious SIS agent called Voleran. When Moff Broisk recalled me to the Battle of Druckenwell, I had the spy cornered. I briefed Broisk so that he could send someone else to take Voleran out. He ignored the opportunity. This sounds like a personal vendetta. I'll admit, knowing how close I was to ending his career made languishing on Balmora all the more frustrating. But I take this on only for the good of the Empire. This spy has caused immeasurable losses. I know Voleran's signature. And by tracking his accomplishments, I've picked up his scent. It is imperative that you track him down. Very good, my lord. I'll keep you abreast of my progress. My lord, my efforts to locate SIS agent Voleran have finally paid off. There is a small window of opportunity to confront him. I can handle the matter personally. Permission to intercept and bring him down. There's no time to waste. He must finally be stopped. I appreciate your decisiveness, my lord. The Empire will finally be served. I'll return shortly. My lord, I'm back from my mission. I'm pleased to report Agent Voleran's decade of espionage has been brought to an end. It is a great day for the Empire. It isn't every day you close the book on an old score. It is long overdue. Thank you for allowing me to pursue this, my lord. I expect your eyes and mind to be firmly occupied in my charge now. I'll become doubly dedicated. Is there anything you require at this time? Carry on, Captain. By all means, my lord. My lord, I'd appreciate it if you could speak with Vet. Ask her not to disturb me when I'm working. Just tune her out, Captain. That's like trying to ignore an inflamed rash. The chatter is non-stop. When I was tracking down Agent Voleran, she must have overheard me refer to Moff Broisk. And now she persistently pesters me about him. She keeps slipping his name nonsensically into conversations just to annoy me. Says she won't stop until I tell her why I hate the man. That's relentless. Once she gloms onto something, she doesn't let go. Best if you just tell her the story. It's neither appropriate nor in the Empire's interest to discuss the matter with non-military personnel. Besides, knowing her, the details of Broisk's collapse at Druckenwell and his and my subsequent conflict would only give her more fodder. Leave it to me. She'll stop bothering you. I was hoping you'd say that, my lord. Thank you. My lord, I seek advice. As a military man, above all else, I value discipline, the chain of command, and uncompromising dedication to serving the Empire's interests. But there's a built-in dilemma. When my instincts tell me that a superior is jeopardizing the Empire, it makes my path less clear. That's the problem with the military. No matter what rank, no one should be above reproach. That has been a difficult lesson to learn. 
but it's tricky. The criteria to challenge a superior must never be softened. I stood by as Moff Broisk's random whims compromised countless missions. It is a mistake I refuse to repeat. Defying him ruined my career, but I should have done it sooner. No matter the consequences. If anyone caused me half as much trouble, I'd dedicate my life to bringing him down. I have no aspirations for personal glory, just glory for the Empire. And now for you. Your service to me should consume you. Every waking moment, my lord. I won't take up any more of your time. My lord, I'm receiving reports of a failed military incursion. It seems one of our special ops battalions was following shaky intel and walked into an ambush. We're the only ship in the sector that can relay their distress calls to high command. Permission to transmit their coordinates for extraction. Do it. Immediately. Yes, my lord. Hopefully the consequences of this blunder can be lessened. My lord, I've been tracking a series of broken Imperial signals on an encrypted channel. Tremendous interference. I've identified the source, Major Ovech, commander of Moth Broisk's elite infiltrator unit. But that's all. Strange, that name continues to pop up. Yes, Moth Broisk oversees a large proportion of Imperial forces. I served with Major Ovech under Moth Broisk. The man is an unmatched officer. Moff Broisk's command ship does not respond when hailed. My gut says there's trouble. Permission to investigate further. I know you wouldn't waste time with anything that wasn't important. Thank you, my lord. My lord, I was able to clear the channel and get to the bottom of Major Ovich's relays. He's in a state of emergency. Patching him through now. My lord, your captain there is one in a million. I've given up hope anyone out there would hear my distress calls. He's proven himself invaluable to me on many occasions. Wish I still had him in my detail. Probably would have avoided this. Morph Broyce dispatched me and my officers to a secret weapons warehouse on Cato Nemoidia. Trouble is, it isn't a secret no more. We're holed up, surrounded by Republic forces. I'm trying to get Broisk to send the rest of my unit, but he's gone radio silent. It's worse than that, my lord. The Major's ship has been commandeered by Broisk's personal commanders and ordered to stay put. Fantastic! Seen it a hundred times with Broisk. Better to cut bait and let good soldiers die than admit a mistake. Most people in power are driven by ego over integrity. Broisk wrote the handbook on that. Enemy was pausing between breaths, gearing up to charge again. Looks like the end of the line for me, but I'm not going out without a fight. Ovech, out. My lord, Major Ovech would be a terrible loss. I served on his ship, know it like the back of my hand. I can infiltrate and try to restore command to his men. Then they would be free to join the fight. Why are you still standing here? Go! Yes, my lord. My lord, returning from action. Pleased to report, Major Ovech and most of his officers have been saved. I was able to infiltrate Ovech's starship and seize control of the operating systems. I identified where his men were being held, freed them, and locked Mothbroisk's occupying force on the bridge. Ovech's men promptly rescued him. The Moth must be pitching a fit. How does it feel to thwart your nemesis? My lord, I merely ensured that a great asset of the Empire wasn't squandered. Nothing more. Thank you for the opportunity. I'll return to my duties. My lord, I am applying to receive the trials for the rank of Captain, second grade. I formally submit a request for your recommendation. It would be an honor. I will sing your praises, Captain. You honor me, my lord. My lord, I've just been informed that I have passed the trials for Captain. Second grade. I'm happy for you, Quinn. Thank you, my lord. I don't seek acknowledgement. It requires your approval to go into effect. Consider it done. 
Very good, my lord. My lord, I've been dealing with a situation that's getting out of hand. Moff Broisk contacted the ship and was incensed to find me at the helm. He's been sending recorded messages that are progressively more nonsensical. He's always been scattered and aggressive, but now he seems completely unhinged. The next time he comes calling, I will speak with the man. I would appreciate that, my lord. Tens of thousands of soldiers and some of our most critical campaigns are at the mercy of his commands. The man is a liability. I find myself agreeing with you. My lord, Moff Broisk's hollow transmissions have increased. They are beginning to disrupt operations. He's nearly incoherent. I can only assume some sort of dementia has set in. I have him on hollow right now. I believe it's going to take your personal touch to assuage the situation. Patch him through. Here he is, my lord. Flow the coop! Your new cage will be smaller and tighter. Cuff in size, earn size, in a locket or wear around my neck. He's unlikely to stop, my lord. He didn't even know he was on hold. Dragon will prove my point. My glory is mine. Mine. You're nobody. The man has lost all sense. As I said. Where's my blaster? I'll shoot your face. Personally. And again. Dragon well won't save you. I could blow Balmoral away. I'll blow Balmoral away this time. Wait. What? Gone? Where did... There's a Sith on this. Why did you transfer me, Rajnik? I'll ship you off to Balmoral too. Rajnik is his communications officer. This is how it's been. Rajnik, am I through? I'm through? Yes or no? I don't see. Is this broken? All I see is a Sith. You see a Sith because you have called my ship. Your ship? I was talking to... Wait! You're the one who dared to liberate the Admiral! Have you lost your mind? He calls me Admiral Malcontent. He seems to think that's my actual rank and name. Don't you know he's the one who lost the Battle of Talley? Broisk's earliest command. Before I was born. It was his blunder that allowed the escaped Jedi targets to flee Taris before the bombardment! Ancient history. Broisk wasn't even born. He sabotaged the Glory Space Station for crying out loud! I have no idea what that is. I hear him. I'm talking! His insubordination is lethal, paralyzing, it threatens the Empire! And you do nothing! You need to be muzzled, madman. Locked away before you do serious damage. You will not defy me! Fight his disease, Sith! Save yourself and deliver him to me for execution! Now! Are you listening? I do not accommodate lunatics. Then I accuse you alongside him! Rajnik, cut transmission! I said cut it! Now! With Broisk in command, the Empire is in critical danger. I must implore High Command to do something about him. That's sound thinking, Gwyn. I'll update you when I can. Captain, do you have news? How have your efforts with Imperial High Command gone? Not well, my lord. I've gone as high up the chain as I can. No one will confront Moff Broisk. He's too powerful and entrenched. He will serve until he's killed, or willingly steps down. And he will never willingly step down. It seems clear. I must deal with Broisk myself. Once and for all. Nice to know you're ready to do what needs to be done. This is your calling, Quinn. Get to it. I am ready, my lord. My lord, I've returned. I found Moff Broisk on a pleasure barge. He was on 
R and R while countless battles are raging. Despicable. I abducted him and brought him here to present to you. Stop! Traitor! You, Sith! I commandeer your ship! Your crew! I commandeer you! Mine! Now! Close that trap of yours, Broisk. You are my men now! I command you all! Kill! Kill yourselves! I have spoken! My lord, I've resisted all along, but this is personal. Permission to execute the moth. By all means, the kill should be yours. As you command. You cannot kill me! You are nothing! I am a moth! Not anymore. No! Scabs! Oh, scabs! The body has been disposed of, my lord. No more of Moth Broisk's men will have to endure his whims and incompetence. Thank you for seeing this through. The Empire is better for it. My sentiment, exactly. I'm fielding reports from across Imperial forces. Among the men, there's universal relief that Moth Broisk is no more. The rest of the Empire was passive. It sickens me. I was guilty of that for a long time. I feel no conflict over my actions. Broisk was a blight on the Empire. You were guiding me to a new paradigm, my lord. One a bit more... improvisational. I believe it will only make me a better officer. You can bank on that, Quinn. I will not disappoint you, my lord. My lord, I have taken it upon myself to look into something of importance. Is there another moth out there you want to assassinate? You have a great sense of humor, my lord. If I wasn't on duty, I'd allow myself a good laugh. New generation hyperdrive support tech is being developed. The Empire is negotiating for exclusive purchasing rights. But it could take months to be available. I've been saving my commission and was able to pull strings to acquire the latest alluvial dampers. For your ship. That's very generous, Quinn. I did an exhaustive cost analysis, and this is by far the most sensible use of my pay. These dampers are so efficient. They reduce the system's refractory period by 32.9%. Once I have them installed, we'll be able to make successive light speed jumps with one third less waiting time. I am incredibly impressed. They are a thing of great precision. I'll get right to work. My lord, the new alluvial dampers have been installed and the hyperdrive tested to my satisfaction. This ship is now the most hyperspeed ready vessel in the galaxy. I plan on taking advantage of it, Captain. When you are ready, say the word. Awaiting your next order. My lord, after all we've been through, the good and the bad, I am dedicated 100% to you and your legacy. It goes without saying that I will impart whatever skills and knowledge I can on your future disciples. It is a certainty. You're too kind. Serving you and ensuring your legacy is a privilege. I'll take no more of your time. What is on your mind, apprentice? So much. I've only touched the dark side, and already I feel as though the galaxy is unfurling before me. There's so much to take in. And I'll admit, I'm a little uncertain about what it means to be Sith. You must learn how things run around here, and how best to serve me. Tell me, what do you think your role as my apprentice is about? What do you suppose our relationship is? You are my master in all things. I do as you say, no matter what. My life belongs to you. As you prove yourself, you will be given greater latitude, provided my will is ultimately served. I spit on the Jedi way. The further I went with Nomen Kar, the more restricted I felt. All my life, I've felt kept and confined. Always wanting to watch what I say, treating emotion as the enemy. The dark side is my freedom. I'm going to express everything. 
we believe that letting our emotions flow makes us stronger and unlocks our potential. As you speak, I am swelling with pride and hope. Please, may I ask you something? What do you want to know? It's about the Twi'lek, Vat. Can she be trusted? She seems rather... soft. Vet lacks the will and the ability to resist. She complains, but does as she's told. If you're comfortable with her, then I am as well. I see I have much to absorb. I'm humbled by your attention. Thank you. We can continue this discussion another time. Of course, my master. Master, your indulgence, please? We haven't spoken for some time. Are you upset with me? I'm not hard to find. If you want to talk, speak up. Tell me anything. Can I tell you it angers me to be ignored? The nobles on Alderaan treated me like I wasn't there. First because I was just a servant, then because they knew I could see through their pomp and distortions. I wanted to expose it all, bring their political nonsense to a halt. What was stopping you? I was naive. Stupid. And the lady I served seemed sincere when she advised me not to. Of course she ended up using me for her own ambitions. Deep down I hated my life, but I swallowed those feelings. You've come a long way already. Now, you can let your feelings go. Yes. I'm finally living. All thanks to you. Master? Remember the last Imperial port we were docked at? Because I don't. I think I partied a little too hard there. I vaguely recall an Imperial soldier. I think he and I, uh, got to know each other? Either that or I might have killed him. Or both, maybe. It's fuzzy. I see you're enjoying yourself. The way I see it, I work hard, so I should play hard. But don't get me wrong, I'm not really interested in nameless, faceless, possibly lifeless runs. I reserve my interest for much more accomplished men. You're staring at one right now. Now look, you've gone and made me blush. You'll see, I'm a quick learner. I, I won't be so clumsy next time. Until then. Thank you for granting me this audience, Master. I'll only take a moment. I have nightmares. I'm wearing the plain robe of the Jedi. When I wake up, I giggle like a small girl. I'd like to see that. In your presence, that giggle would be a full-bodied laugh. I've come to realize that my appreciation of you puts me at odds with the precept of the Sith way. It is expected that an apprentice will eventually seek to overthrow her master. You'll never have to worry about that. I'm glad to hear it. That's all. Thank you for this time, Master. Master, I'm plagued. Tell me what's on your mind. What's on my mind? Let me see, how should I put it? Disenchantment? No, not strong enough. I'm feeling rather betrayed. It's becoming clear that the dark side is as flawed and undependable as everything else. Using my power to reach out into the galaxy, I'm becoming aware of false Sith. Lords who are secretly leaning toward the light. Supply me with names, and we will deal with it. If I knew, I would have already torn out their eyes myself. It will take time for me to pinpoint who and where they are, but believe me, I will find them. I'm glad this concerns you as much as it does me. Master, I know I've been moody lately, preoccupied about the false Sith I seek. I want you to know my confidence in the Empire is shaky, but my commitment to the dark side is strong. I'm reveling in the power of my new emotions. I'm all ears. Tell me about these new emotions. You name it, I feel it. Hatred. Elation. Fury. Lust. I haven't properly thanked you for this amazing gift. 
I don't want you to think I take you for granted. You should know that I can be, well, anything that you wish me to be. I'm going to need you to be a little more explicit. Maybe this will be explicit enough. Hmm. I like that side of you. I look forward to getting to know you better. We've only scratched the surface. If the Jedi only knew what they were missing. You have something to tell me. I'm just informing you that I will be disembarking for a short while. I've finally tracked down the false Sith I'm sensing. It's time for me to bathe in their impure blood. Sever a few limbs for me, will you? You add fire to my rage, Master. I will return once my bloodlust has been quenched. The false Sith are dead. I slaughtered them. I slaughtered them all. But not before getting confessions from each and making them beg. I've never felt such satisfaction. Let it feed you. There are few greater experiences than destroying traitors. I will be on the lookout for every one of those experiences. For now, I'll continue to use my power to search for traitorous Sith, then systematically eradicate them all. The Empire will be pure when I am through. I vow it. Master, as time passes, the thrill of killing the light side Sith is ebbing. I'm in search of a new thrill. Perhaps one slightly more... personal in nature? Master, I want you. Why don't we find someplace quiet? I like a woman who's direct. Follow me. Everything looks a little different when you're relaxed, you know? The sky is brighter, the stars shinier. Can't wait to get all tense again. Your workload around here just doubled. You'll be tense before you know it. I can handle it. The more pain, the more pleasure. Makes sense to me. Until next time, Master. It's so amusing to think I was once training to be a Jedi. You're opening me up to my true potential. I feel such power surging through me. I'm impressed with how well you're absorbing all my various influences. Ready for more whenever you are. Dear, there will be no stopping us. Master, I have become aware of an amazing development. The other night I couldn't sleep. I sensed something and ventured out, tracking the sensation. I came upon a badly injured Sith who reeked of the light side. He was suffering and on the verge of death. Tell me you ended his miserable existence. I didn't have to. His injuries were extreme. He spoke of a Sith and his agents whose sole purpose is to hunt down traitors to the dark side. Whoever this Sith is, he filled this man with such fear and pain. All I can think is, where do we sign up? We could coordinate efforts with this Sith. Exactly my thinking. We can share information and pool resources and clean up the Empire all the more thoroughly. By using my power on the dying man, I got an impression of the Sith who did the damage. I'm reaching out with my senses to try to catch his scent. Some kind of trail I can follow to locate him. You have my blessing. Leave no stone unturned. I will be thorough, Master. Master! I have exciting news. A trail of corpses, all slain the same as the light side Sith I found, has led me to the perpetrator. His name is Lord Sendence. He's been secretly hand-chosen by the Dark Council to eradicate any and all Sith who are not pure. He operates with impunity. No one is above his judgment. It makes my mouth water just thinking about such power. 
your abilities would be very helpful to his task. That's what I was thinking. He's already accused and destroyed so many traitors. It's a mystery to me how he has been so prolific without my special power. But I've reached out to him, and he has granted me an audience. That's good news, Jason. I'm sure he will see the sense of employing you to help carry out his work. I love that you're not jealous. Through him, I'll quench my need to purify the Sith and be back in my quarters every night. Or in yours. This is my destiny. The purpose of my power, I know it. Now, I'm meeting him shortly. Leave a light on for me. I see you've returned from meeting Lord Sentence. How was it? Interesting, to say the least. Within moments, I realized he was killing any Sith he pleased, all in the name of hunting traitors. Very few of his victims were valid targets, and he was very excited that my special power would unequivocally validate his work. Said that we could literally reorganize the entire power structure of the Empire. To entice me, he suggested we start by pointing the finger at you. Tell me you laughed in his face. I laughed in it. Then I stuck my lightsaber through it. The man wanted me to abuse my gifts, and betray the one person in the galaxy I respect and owe my life to. It took everything I had, but it was the most satisfying kill of my young life. I applaud you, Jaysa. Relish this moment. Oh, I do, Master. But there's even more. The Dark Council's emissary, a man named Kaliku, was there too. He's the one holding Lord Sendence's leash on this assignment. He offered me Sendence's mandate. As I sensed light-leaning Sith, I'd report them to him. And when possible, I'd be sent to eradicate. Your dream come true, and a deserved distinction, Jason. I will make you proud. I promise. And don't think I'll forget that it's you who has made this possible. My devotion will never flutter. Thank you. Master, everything else aside, the visceral experience of facing Lord Sendence continues to tantalize me. I relive it nightly and awaken buzzing. When I feel such pleasure, all I can think of is sharing it with you. When I feel pain, I ache to be consoled by you. I know what this is. It's love. I love you too, Jaysa. Hmm. I feel weak and strong all at once. The chaos of it electrifies me. My heart is yours now. Know that. But I want this to be different. Special. As you already know, my reflex is to rush to instant gratification, but... Let's milk this feeling. This want. Let it build before we act on it. All the better to wait until we ache with longing. The ache in me spikes when you talk like that. I think we are going to like this little experiment. I have to say, this idea to wait and let the desire churn, fantastic. I'm burning for you like never before. I think it's time to do something about it, don't you? You read my mind. Follow me to my quarters. I like it when you lead. I'll be watching you the whole way there. I have to admit, that was so worth the wait. Instant gratification is overrated. I'm a new woman now. So much greater intensity is built through denying one's appetites and then gorging. I'm going to apply this lesson to all things. Eating, training, killing. I won't take the easy, quick path ever again. I'm glad you found what fulfills you. You fulfill me. And I trust you. Completely. You're the first person I have no compulsion to use my power on in order to be sure I understand. When I'm with you, I actually forget that I have this power. And it is such relief. I'm realizing I never really relaxed before. All my stresses subside when we're together. 
All right, this is almost too sweet. We don't want the galaxy thinking we've gone soft, do we? Let's get back to work. I look around, I see other men, even the uncomplicated strong ones, you know, my type, and there's no reaction. It's like every cell inside me knows. You and I are made for each other. So you better propose or something, because our offspring will be the most powerful creatures in the galaxy. Marriage first. We'll talk about the rest later. That sounds like a proposal to me. Did you see that? My nostrils just flared and my pupils dilated. I love my emotions. I love being Sith. Husband, will it ever stop? The craving for greater power, the lust for more conquest? To Sith, those things are like breathing. The way I feel, the drive you've awakened and sustained in me will never extinguish. My last breath will be expelled fiercely. Our children will be so gifted, and I'll use my special powers to help guide them and your future disciples. Together, we will build the most fearsome legacy the galaxy has ever seen. My lord, drop my things in the crew bunks. Good ship. Quinn's already briefed me. I'm handling demolitions and heavy firepower support. Didn't know the captain ran things round here. I'd rather take my orders direct. Quinn handles the details, but you answer to me. Fine with me. Just keep Captain Protocol off my back. Moff Hurden was all about regulations too. War Trust did a lot more damage than they should have. Hurden didn't think a soldier could strategize. Proved him wrong. Erden was a fool to ignore your natural talents. Doesn't matter much now. I'm here, and Erden stuck on Taris. Give me the freedom he didn't, and you'll see results. The others will tell you I accept only the best. Shouldn't have any problem fitting in then. Every friend I come to brag about this post has already heard of you. Never served under a Sith Lord before. Not sure how promotion works. Heard a few tales, though. How do you think things are done on Korriban? Seems like there's one way to make it, and a hundred ways to screw up. Might have been easy to get this far. Might have been a war. Either way, good story. I've killed rivals every step of the way. Good move. Might betray you, frame you, even kill you. Not so different from the military. Cross the wrong people, and they assign you to some graveyard swamp like Taris. That post was a dead end. Got out by threatening to blab about Moff Hurden's Rodian mistress. You discovered Moff Hurden's weakness and exploited it. To get here, best career move I've made yet. No, I've said this before, but I kept my mouth shut for a while now. Time to speak up. Quinn's dead weight. Can't do anything without his approval. He's slowing us both down. Salute the captain and move on. The only command you need obey is mine. Appreciate it. Just want to give 110% here. One crew can make or break a mission. In Black Ops, everyone knows their job and does it. No room for screw-ups. We were the go-to squad. Assassination of Moff Tarek. The massacre of Harun Kao. Operation Force Crush. All us. The rest of your team must fight like you. Good team. Hitting the right targets. We were gearing up for some serious assaults before we were shut down. Like the Bastion. Huge Republic military complex on Karelia. They say it can't be taken. We would have done it. The Empire will reach the Bastion eventually. Need clearance first, and the rest of the team to pull it off. Should get back to work. Been your ear about this long enough. My lord, glad we have a moment. Something we need to discuss. Got a message from General Racton. You might have heard of him. Most decorated commander in the Empire. Seems the Empire set their sights on Corellia. They want Black Ops leading the charge. 
Me and the old team. I've seen your work. Your skills are impressive. Put the team together. Then you'll see some fireworks. Corellia's the real deal. Core World, one of the Republic's founders. Gonna take more than the latest batch of recruits to claim it. Black Ops soldiers use their brains. General asked for strategy. Told him we could take the planet with one target. Sebastian. You and your team may be the most qualified. Ready, willing and able. We've been planning this assault for years. The Bastion's the center of operations for the entire Republic military. We'd be cutting their legs out from under them. The Republic's plans fall apart. Morale disappears. By the time they get their canops in a row, Corellia will be ours. Conquering the Bastion may give us more than Corellia. Sure, a place in history. Black Ops' place in history. My team can handle the preparations. General Racton will give us the order. All I need is your leave. Inform the General that you have my blessing. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. First steps tracking down the old team. Could be at the four corners of the galaxy by now. It'll take some time. Let you know who I find later. Got a few leads on the old Black Ops team. Republic won't let the Bastion go easy. It'll take all of us to claim it. Best to start with Lieutenant Tenido. Weapons man. Could turn a hyperdrive into a gun turret if he wanted. Let's it all go to his head, of course. Can't open his mouth except to brag about Black Ops and our wins. What purpose will he serve in the Bastion assault? Only way inside the Bastion is the gate. Supposedly impenetrable. Tenido swore he could break through. Took a while to track Tenido down, but he's stationed on Hoth. Finally got a clear comm signal today. You're welcome to listen in. After a few months defrosting blasters, Tenido's probably in rare form. And then he had me forcibly removed from the armory over a few flash grenades. Weapons master indeed. And after you calibrated all the assault rifles for him too. Shame about those cadets though. Yes, that was unfortunate. But how was I to know those rifles were for training? They really should use slaves. Anyhow, that's how I ended up a hoth. Scraping ice from blaster barrels and reheating ammunition. Pathetic. A man of your talents should be on Drom and Cass. Oh, if only. The Citadel would be a welcome sight after all this snow and ice. Maybe you should start tinkering again. Get that weapon you built for the Bastion out of storage. You know very well that weapon's finished. It's waiting for the assault that will never happen. The Lieutenant volunteered your entire team. We've got clearance from General Rackton. The Bastion's ours for the taking. Then it's fallen into place. The Bastion, after all these years. I'll get back to base and start making arrangements. When I have the weapon, I'll contact you. Tenido doesn't like to waste time. He'll have that weapon quick as a Minox wings. Just in time too. Let the man idle any longer, and he might do some real damage. I look forward to seeing Tenido unleashed. Should be a show. Like to see the size of his head after this one. Tenido's weapons will help, but we'll need more than firepower for this one. A sword this big takes reinforcements too. Get back to you about those. Plans for the Bastion Assault are coming along. Tenido's got the weapons ready, but having the right ordnance is just the start. Gotta worry about numbers, too. That's Lawrence's job. Captain Lawrence now. Connections got to a good post on Balmora. Then the rules are lot in Black Ops. Lawrence could always smooth things out. Pretty face, way with words. People like her. What is Lawrence's role in the Bastion Assault? Reinforcements from the right places. Lawrence a favorite of Moff Galvin. Close to retirement now, but he could give us an army if he had the mind. Ask Lauren about her chances. Seemed to think she could convince the old man. With the right favors. How did Lawrence become Moff Galvin's favorite? Lawrence spent an evening with Moff Galvin as a lieutenant. By morning, she was a captain. Now it's got her putting on airs. Actually ordered me to calm her. Better get to it, eh? 
There has to be another way. Moff Galvin has resources, but what he's asking is impossible. The favors I would have to give him now, it would be above and beyond the call of duty. Never stopped you before, Captain. The old man's depraved, and the years have not been kind to him. Surely Moff Galvin wasn't your first promotion? No, the others were earned, like any good Imperial officer. You were Black Ops once, before that commission went to your head. Remember? We do what's necessary to get the job done. Some of us more than others. I'll call Moff Galvin. Reinforcements will be ready when the time comes. Wouldn't want to be Lawrence right now. You have your men. Are you ready for the assault? Security's our last problem. The Bastion will have plenty of systems. Black Ops had a man for that too. Let you know when I find him. Almost ready for the Bastion now. Security's the last wrinkle. Takes a good tech to deal with Republic systems. As is Sergeant Arlos. Rookie. Always trying to prove himself. Near ruined him when Black Ops shut down. Took to drowning his sorrows in the nearest cantina. Sobered up quick when I told him about the Bastion. The sergeant wasn't assigned to Black Ops by accident. Lawrence find. Caught him hacking into his own service record. Arlos could barely aim a blaster when he joined Black Ops. We gave him strength to go with his smarts. Made sergeant after our last assault. Could be up for a commission if things go smooth at the Bastion. Your victory will depend on his performance. The Bastion's got some serious security. Alarms, cameras, turrets, the works. Anyone could get us around them, it's our loss. Heard from the kid a few days ago. Said he had some intel ready. Sounded more jittery than ever. We'll find out why. I can't account for cheap Republic shortcuts. Who uses a closed circuit system? In the Bastion, no less. Heard better excuses for my assault rifle. Did you even get their schematics? No, yes, partly. I have the ground floor layout. That should get you all the way to Central Command. And what surprises will we find there? That's supposed to be your job, Arlos. Perhaps Pierce could offer you some support. I wouldn't give him water on Tatooine. I'm starting to think we were shut down for a reason, and the reason was you. There's something else I could try. It's risky, but I get full control of their systems. The Bastion will be ours before we even step inside. Just give me another chance. Hope so. You screw this up, and I'll personally take it out of your hide. Now get back to work! Schematics look good. With full control, Republic won't have a chance. Kid did all right. Never tell him that, of course. Might make him sloppy. Got to keep him on his toes. No officer in the Empire would accept his failure. No Sith Lord either. Might be Arlus's head if he doesn't learn. Prep work's finished. The team's ready. Soon as General Racton gives the order, we strike. Just hope it's soon. Can't wait to see those Republic flags burn. Got a secure message from General Racton. You'll want to hear this. My lord, I received Lieutenant Pierce's call. I've reinstated Black Ops and excused the team from their prior assignments. All the preparations have been made. You have Imperial clearance for your assault upon the Bastion. And a feeling this was it. Hard to believe we're finally making our move. Play the rest. I want Racton's full briefing. Due to the massive Republic presence at the Bastion, we've made special arrangements to get Pierce's team within range. You'll infiltrate a shuttle of Republic reinforcements headed for the area. We've already procured the necessary disguises. Surprise is essential. Therefore, I must ask that you remain behind, my lord. Your presence would expose our plans. I'm sure there's a Republic uniform in my size. They'll have Jedi along. No uniform would hide your power. You made this assault possible, my lord. The credit is yours. Should Pierce and his team succeed, the Empire is trusting Black Ops with our victory. I hope it is not misplaced. General Racton up. The team has their instructions. Have to leave now if I'm going to make the rendezvous. When the Bastion falls, the Republic will know our power. So will the Empire. Just how I like it.
Gates open, security's down, and the CO is dead. The Bastion belongs to the Empire. Welcome to Black Ops Victory, my lord. Long odds, big prize, no survivors. Black Ops training has its merits. I'll see that you're all rewarded. Look forward to that. The Bastion was no routine assault. Hit a few snags. Tenido's weapons lost power. A couple of Laurent's men died. Arlos tripped a system hacking in. Took a bit of damage myself. Going to take some time to heal. Let you know when I'm up for a full debrief. Got a comm from the team. The Bastion's back up and running, with Imperial flags. Of course, Quinn has to run his mouth. Thinks Corellia's unstable, will never hold it. Jealous if you ask me. Our assault on the Bastion's part of history now. Perhaps the Empire will reinstate Black Ops permanently. Your mouth to their ears, my lord. But first duties to you. Swear Arlos built that security system himself. Never seen Laurent command so many. And when that gate came down, Tenido's finest hour. Just like old times. Flexed a lot of forgotten muscles out there. Should improve my skills in the field. What have you learned from storming the Bastion? Accuracy, timing, coordination. Where the enemy's weak and how to exploit it. Black Ops earned its name at the Bastion. Appreciate the chance. Been thinking. You'll always need someone in the Empire. Someone who knows how to get things done. Was hoping I could stay on board, make this assignment a little more... permanent. You've earned your freedom. Come or go as you please. No reason to leave. Long way down from here. You've got a good group, but more will come. Apprentices, officers, your own battalions. You'll need training. Leave them to me. You'll have the strongest army the Empire's ever seen. You'll go farther than any Imperial before you. Already there, my lord. <laughs> Let your revenge against the Tals fuel your anger. <laughs> Obey me, and you'll kill thousands by my side. What's on your mind, Brunmark? <laughs> the thrill of choking off that first life. <laughs> I'll never forget it. <laughs> It was your destiny. Without them, you wouldn't serve me now. Those claws are destined to inflict the most painful of wounds. We won't stop until the Republic is decimated. Murder is simple. To truly devastate your enemies, you must learn to crush their hope. Mm. 
The more blood on my hands, the better. <laughs> Oh, my God.